cybersecurity is a problem for everybody. It's the the current software crisis. We've we've had a few software crises over the the 67 years of the software industry, and I, I will talk about the two previous ones and and about this one, the current one, the cybersecurity crisis that we face. The solution to it is complex. It is already affecting everybody. It will continue to affect everybody. Um, it, the, the trope around the cybersecurity industry is, is that there are two classes of people in the world, those who've been hacked and those who don't know they've been hacked. And that is to a large extent true. The number of infected organizations um, is, is very high. Most organizations systems contain some sort of malware. Um, quite a lot of major organizations are actually part of, of what are called botnets where computers are operating doing malicious things under the control of somebody usually in another country. Those are issues that the cybersecurity industry is wrestling with with the assistance and support of government agencies, of, of businesses. But making sure that people behave sensibly with their computers is a responsibility for all of us. Making sure that we all behave sensibly with our computers is a responsibility for all of us. And it's a real challenge because quite often it means not using the software the way that it was quite obviously designed to be used. If you receive an email with a, a link to a website in it, it's perfectly clear that the software is inviting you to click on that link. Um, somehow we need to train ourselves to think and check before we do that. But at some level, that's a failure of the industry. Why, why have we given people tools to use that we then have to try to persuade them not to use in the way that they were clearly designed to be used? That feels like quite the wrong solution to the problem. And this is an issue that I want to explore in some depth in one of the lectures during this academic year.